And now, the general weather around Alaska. First up, the hazardous weather graphic uh, showing a flood watch here in the yellow shaded areas of the southeast coast. Flood watch out through Saturday evening for uh, possible flooding in these areas due to uh, moderate to heavy rains that are going to be continuing right through Saturday night. And from there, we'll look at satellite imagery. You can see southwest to northeast uh, movement of the clouds here, bringing rain today all across the panhandle, back westward across the North Gulf Coast, working into south central Alaska and a little bit to the north here. And the low center here, uh, right about in this area, southeast of Kodiak Island there, and up to the north, some clouds up here, Arctic Village there out to the eastern Arctic coast, and moisture here with some light rain from the Perbolof Islands down to the eastern Aleutians, and the uh, Alaska Peninsula there with the low center farther to the west. And rolling this through again, you'll see the uh, first band here moving through today, another one right on its heels right through here. All this caught up in a pretty good southwest flow that's going to keep several surges of moisture moving from southwest to northeast, bringing uh, moderate to heavy rains in across the southeast coast at least uh, through Saturday night. And forecast for tonight, that second system here pushes right up to the coastline with gusty winds and rain heavy at times there. Dixon entrance right up to the North Gulf Coast with uh, periods of light rain for South Central Alaska and uh, down to Kodiak Island and of course across Prince William Sound there, cutting off in about the coast range there. So Copper River Basin northward all the way to the Arctic coast and back down into the southwest here stays dry with light wind conditions, maybe some clearing. Another developing system here, low center, right near the Alaska Peninsula, frontal boundary right in this area that will move uh, quite rapidly tomorrow, by tomorrow afternoon here, and make landfall along the uh, coastline sometime during the afternoon hours, but it's going to keep it uh, wet and breezy here across all the Panhandle, North Gulf Coast, wet day south central Alaska, heaviest rainfall, southern Kenai Peninsula, western Prince William Sound, and the North Gulf Coast, Cordova over toward Yakutat, and again, northern areas north of the uh, Actually, northern Susitna Valley, definitely the Alaska Range northward will be dry. Some moisture may get into the Copper River Basin, especially over toward the Wrangell Mountains there, but not much. That'll be light. The heaviest rainfall will be hung up along the coastline. And look for some partial clearing for the northern interior there, but it should be cloudy all the way out to the Arctic coast. And out over the Bering Sea, we've got uh, northerly flow out here with uh, numerous showers caught up in that there that'll swing right on down into the eastern Aleutians and western Alaska Peninsula, but higher pressure making for light winds and uh, dry conditions for the uh, central Aleutians westward to the Commodore Ski Islands. And looking ahead to the uh, first day of the weekend, low pressure drifts eastward and another system develops, another front develops here and brings another round of uh, good rainfall into the southeast coast, heaviest over the central and southern areas there. And that'll be where the strongest winds occur as well. As you can see, less gradient, lighter winds and lighter rain up toward Yakutat. And a break here for Prince William Sound down to uh, the, the uh, Kodiak Island area, just a risk of a shower for the Kenai Peninsula. Low pressure here over the uh, southern Kuskokwim Valley keeps uh, rain from the Alaska Range through the valley all the way down into northern Bristol Bay out toward the Kuskokwim Delta area. A uh, surge of moisture dropping southward across the Bering Sea keeps uh, the Pribilof Islands wet, and that'll begin to push down toward the eastern Aleutians later in the day. To the north, partly to mostly clear skies up there with uh, sunshine and uh, light winds with dry weather expected all the way out to the Arctic coast. As that Arctic low up there keeps far enough to the north, it'll keep the snow north of the uh, last or north of the Arctic coast up there. Otherwise, some scattered showers here for the northern Bering Sea to St. Lawrence Island and a very weak low, maybe some light rain out there over Shimia and Attu, but all the major storminess is going to be here developing in the Gulf of Alaska and then taking a turn to the northeast. And then first Sunday, still wet here for the southeast coast, but uh, rainfall amounts of this weakening trough will be lighter 
Next system down here to the southwest, likely rolling in Sunday night and Monday, keeping it wet there into the first of next week. Rain periods of here across all of South Central Alaska from the uh, maybe the Kuskokwim Valley, definitely the Alaska Range eastward there toward Yakutat. And gusty north winds, maybe anywhere from 40 to 50 miles an hour in the normally windier areas there, the Alaska Peninsula with rain and showers that uh, scatter out pretty good just north of that area, mostly dry over the western part of the state as well as up in the north. And some light snow trying to sneak down to the western Arctic coast there but uh, doesn't look like much will reach it at this point in time, but we'll watch that and see if anything a little more significant happens to swing down from the northwest there. Out over the Bering Sea, storm free, except for a very weak low up here over the Russian Far East there near the coastline. So light winds, dry conditions, uh, again, the strongest winds here, Bristol Bay, Alaska Peninsula area, a little breezy for the eastern Aleutians. And for the lows tonight in the uh, 20s and 30s from the Brooks Range northward to the Arctic coast, otherwise 30s and 40s for the remainder of interior Alaska, well into the 40s, closer to 50 down toward the North Gulf Coast and upper 40s to mid 50s for the Panhandle. That'll be followed by high 60 to 65 here for the southern southeast coast tomorrow. And in the 50s to the north, south of the Brooks Range, everyone in the 50s here, including the Aleutians and the Bering Sea, north of the mountains there mainly in the 30s to lower 40s and the lows for Saturday morning near freezing through the Brooks Range 20s there for the North Slope out to the Arctic Coast back to the lower 30s and in the 40s 30s and 40s here for the interior all the way down to Kodiak Island upper 40s there and 50 to 55 for the southern panhandle and upper 40s to the north followed by highs Upper 50s, lower 60s for the southeast coast, and 55 to 60 here for south central Alaska, Kodiak Island, Cobb River Basin. Mostly in the mid 50s there for the Tanana Valley, cooling to near 50 out toward the west coast. And in the 30s, lower 40s again for the Panhandle, and, or not the Panhandle, the Arctic coast down to the Brooks Range.